Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can make any custom class or ID clickable using simple CSS and jQuery. Basically, something like this, where this whole element is now clickable. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So for this tutorial, we have created this dummy page and we will make this whole red element clickable. As you can see at this moment, it is not clickable. So to make it clickable, let's log in to our WordPress dashboard wp-admin. Enter the credentials. We are now in the WordPress dashboard. Let's me open that post. This is the one. And here is the post. Please note, each theme will have different styles, but most of the themes do offer to add custom class names or ID. Anyway, we want to make this section clickable. If I click here, by the way, this is the info theme. Go to Advanced and Developer Settings. Here we have the option to add a custom ID or a custom class. You can use any of them. Let's try with a custom class. We will give a name, click this. Save and as well update the page. So it is updated. Let me open the page. So this section now has a class name, but nothing has happened. Back to the dashboard, go to Appearance and Customize and go to additional CSS. So this is the custom class we gave earlier, add a dot in front. Bracket and type cursor. Colon, pointer. Semicolon. You can add this CSS anywhere your theme allows. It basically changes the cursor point to a clickable hand. Anyway, publish this. Let's see if this works. Let me refresh this. You can see the mouse pointer has changed, but again, this does not work. So we need to add some simple code to make this go to a link. This part is done. Close this. Go to Appearance and Theme Editor and go to Theme Functions. Scroll down and we will add some code here. Here is the code. Let me open it and simply copy this code and paste it here. Remember, we will need to change this class name. So write the class name we gave earlier. And here is the URL location. I will link it to the home page. Change the URL. It is done. Update file. So the file has been updated. Let me refresh this page. If I click here, it takes me to the home page. And this works well good. And if you want to open this in a new tab, then you can use another code. Copy this code and replace the earlier one. Let me add the home URL. Replace it here. Change the class name. Update file. Let me refresh it. So, if I click here, it opens in a new tab. You can also do the same with the custom ID. Let's quickly use the custom ID. I will give a test name, save, and update. Go to Appearance and Customize. Additional CSS. Change this name. And instead of this dot, 
make sure it is hash, and publish it. Let me refresh this. So, it is now not clickable. And on the theme function, change this to ID name and replace the dot with hash, and give your own link here. And update file. Let me refresh the page. So this seems to work. So basically, you can either use class or ID. If you use ID, use hash, and for custom class, use dot. Hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.